Last time on iHeart Pickleball, we met Coach Mo from the villages in Florida. This month, we travel to beautiful Riodoso, New Mexico, to hear the story of Vicky Noakes and the Riodoso Pickleball Club. I Heart Pickleball is powered by Highlands Leg Cramps, proud supporter of pickleball players everywhere. I'm Vicki Noakes, and I belong to the Rio Dosa Pickleball Club in Rio Dosa, New Mexico. Rio Dosa is a beautiful mountain village. It's in the south central part of New Mexico, which means that it's cool in the summertime. We have Rio Dosa Downs Racetrack, the End of the Mountain Gods Casino, mountain bike and hiking trails in the Sacramento Mountains. All of that brings people in, but the main thing about Rio Dosa is that they have pickleball. No, I'm not from Rio Dosa. I live in Oklahoma City for eight months, and then the first of June for four months, we come to Rio Dosa until the first of October. So we've had this little cabin here for 16 years. For the first 10 years that we lived here, I might have known a couple of people around this block. But then when I found pickleball, I met people and friends that came for the summer or lived here full time, and now I know people from all over the country and have lifelong friends. Six years ago, I, my morning routine was to go down to the White Mountain walking track and walk every morning. Well, on that walking track, there was a private tennis court, but they were playing some kind of a paddle game on this tennis court. And so one day I got the nerve up to uh, stop and ask them what they were playing. Several of them said, we're playing pickleball. Come on up, we'll show you how to play. So I went up and Gary Beatty was the expert at pickleball. And he was willing to show anybody that would want to listen to him to come and play. As anybody that has ever tried to get a program started knows, uh, Court, court time or court space is limited, but I have a, a good friend that I play tennis with. She had a very good friend named Margaret DuPont. When Gary wanted to get pickleball games started here for all of the wonderful people, he knew of this court and the woman who owned it, Margaret Osborne DuPont, had been a world-class tennis player in the 40s and 50s, she won everything. So I just called her up and said, Margaret, got this new game, but I need your court. Gary Beatty was an inspiration to a lot of us when he taught us how to play pickleball. Since that time, we worked with the Redosa Parks and Rec Department and the ladies tennis group that played on the White Mountain tennis courts to get them to allow a time for us to play. The Rodosa Pickleball Club now has about 85 members, at least five of us, and there may be more, that have gone to our hometowns and have gotten to be ambassadors. And we have numerous other players that come in the summertime that go back to Houston or San Antonio, Florida, that after they learn to play here, they go and look for places to play when they go back home. My name is Bill McGoy, and I play pickleball wherever I can find a court to play. <laughs> But I love to play uh, here and became so uh, uh, enthralled by the sport that I've taken it wherever I go. Well, I've heard of someone in Los Angeles who even did it on a roof. I'm Marshall Pura from Los Angeles, California, and this is my home away from home. Yes, I learned how to play pickleball right here, and it was just my most fantastic experience in learning here and bringing it back to Los Angeles, the rooftop Y pickleball court. McKinney, Texas is where I'm from. I come here uh, for the summer and I started playing here all summer and then I, when I went back to McKinney I looked it up and found that there are some people playing there. Yeah, after I'd been playing pickleball here for a couple of years, uh, an opportunity came to take pickleball back to my hometown in San Angelo, Texas. It, it just spreads. The, the, you play once and you're, and you're hooked and so that's kind of what's happened. Since we have such an influx of visitors, it's an incubator as far as taking pickleball to other parts of the country. Out of this very small community, over five ambassadors have, have developed in Texas, in Oklahoma, Los Angeles. So we've just been that, that birthplace right here. 
to take it in all over the country. So it's, it's been that kind of a thrill. Uh, yeah, it all started here, and then we all found out we can go back and play in our, our own respective towns. I don't know what it is, how to describe it, but the folks that come here want to play the game back at home. And so when they learned it here, they took it back home, and when they took it back home, they spread the passion that is pickleball, and it's really, really worked out, and it's given me an enormous amount of pride, and that's why I love just coming back here year after year. It's such a great game for everybody. I'm glad that it came into my life, and I'm glad to put it in other people's lives, too. You have people come from all different states, and it's fun to learn about all of those people that come in. We, we get to know them through pickleball, and I never would have gotten to know any of those people if we hadn't been playing pickleball with them. No matter where you are, pickleball can bring us together to celebrate community, learn new things, and have fun. If you know someone we should feature on a future episode, we would love to hear from you. All you have to do is send us an email and tell us your idea. This episode of I Heart Pickleball has been brought to you by Highlands Leg Cramps, America's number one over-the-counter leg cramp medicine. For more information, go to highlands.com.